right to have a say on the conditions of our workplaces, our children's right to school meals, for so many people the right to live independently. This is anti-democratic. The press. The press paint Jeremy Corbyn as a political extremist, yet go easy on a Prime Minister who may or may not have been photographed in flagrante with the severed head of a farmyard animal. The government are firmly and unashamedly in the pocket of energy companies, big corporations and media moguls. Our democracy is under threat from all sides. But that it is, that's why it's so moving to see this many people standing up for what is right and just. Equality, egality, humanity and democracy. This is not a radical fringe group but a growing social movement. Never in my lifetime, brothers and sisters, has a movement been so organized. <laughs> you are a credit to the People's Assembly and your organizations. You're a credit to your families and you're a credit to humanity and I thank you. this weekend and the people that I've spoken to aren't close-minded or aggressive as much as the media would like to portray them but enlightened and caring. They are thoughtful and they are open to having their opinions changed whilst remaining true to their principles. They are good people and whatever weird rituals and occultist initiations are going on behind locked doors of Tory hotel rooms, we are out in the open celebrating our movement through music, art, dance, comedy and community. I have never felt so optimistic. They can hurl abuse at us and we will fight back. They can scare people into thinking one way, but we can educate people into thinking another. They can claim that protest doesn't work, but we can prove that protest has worked, does work, and will work for us now. It absolutely has to, brothers and sisters. Keep fighting the honest war, and we will win. I'll see you around.